you're building an addition to your home or you're building a new home in a semi-detached scenario, meaning that your addition to the rear or to the front is attaching your neighbor. The other scenario would be if you're building a new home in a semi-detached scenario, how much sound resisting of the new walls attached to the, to the neighbor would have as an STC, sound transmittance class or sound transmission class. Hi, my name is Sam. I'm the senior designer at ISD Architects. In this video, I'm going to answer this question. How much sound resistance of walls would you need if you're adding to your building and you're attached to a neighbor? And by that, I'm asking about what the code requires, what the, what the building codes, whether national or local, requires as a sound resistance between the uh, two different dwelling units. Now, let's assume this scenario. This is the semi-detached unit. So let's assume this is your unit, and I'll call it unit number one. This is the street. And this is a common entrance. And then this is your unit. And you're expanding here while you're probably your neighbor has already expanded or had already expanded in the past, even before you bought the property. Now, if you're, ex if you're adding here this wall, this wall on the, on the separation between the two units, has to be built such that it blocks the noise coming from the neighbor. I will consider from a, for a moment that the fire resistance of the wall is constant. So this is type wall number S4, which means steel stud four, and this is wood stud and number one. And I'm comparing them in terms of STC, which is sound transmission class. Now, this one reaches 36 STC, while this one without, with or without, I'm sorry, I'm trying to erase this, with or without this absorptive material, let's assume that it exists in one and it doesn't exist in the other, it's the same, it's about 48 to 52 STC. Now, what does the code say in terms of this application? How much would you have to provide at this point where you're really abutting the, uh, the neighbor? In this case, the code requires of 50 or over STC. This one is insufficient for that application, and this one can be close if you provide that absorptive material, which is sound insulation, and you're using metal studs. In most cases, because of the fire resistant rating, uh, whether in the finishes on this side or in the structure itself, then you would need uh, no less than one hour fire resistant rating, which requires, or non-combustible they call it, in this case, you'd need steel studs, but it's not, it's not one size fits all. It's, it's not a one solution for everything. Sometimes you use uh, wooden studs, but then you have to double the uh, drywall, uh, or you use XP uh, in order to uh, increase the sound insulation as well as the fire resistant rating. Now, what do we need to do here in both cases, in order to solve this problem, is we have to bring this up from 36 STC into 50 plus uh, STC in order for this to be approved by the examiner. Because this case, you'd not only look at the fire resistance rating between these two units, but also you have to look at the sound transmission class between these two units. If you are building with this wall type, however, then you would need not to bring it uh, forward a lot just by adding the absorptive material or probably you add another layer of just a wall board 
to reach that sound insulation. There are tens of, of other cases, as I said, and it's really up to you, it's up to the contractor to use whichever methodology or method of construction in order to uh, build that wall. And there is, of course, there is the issue of uh, load bearing. So if the wall is a load bearing wall, or if it's non-load bearing, me meaning it's just a partition, it, 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 it's only an environmental barrier and a physical barrier, not supporting any loads. In this case, then you would only need to increase the absorptive material. Visit our website at www.isdarchitects.com uh, to learn more about the uh, building envelope design and the importance of building envelope design. Thank you very much again and hope to see you soon.